Now, they are the messengers of truth in occupied Palestine and Lebanon. They are the ones unmasking the Israeli occupation's genocidal mind and crimes and revealing the resilience of the resistance with their photographs, videos and words. This is the media of resistance that the Israeli entity so fears. It has murdered more than 180 journalists in Gaza and close to 10 in Lebanon. And like in any Israeli aggression, it has deliberately targeted resistance media, those indigenous to the land or those who are natives working for the mainstream media. Joining us now is journalist from the Pan-Arab News Network, al Dean, and the man behind the videos, hello my enemies, it's Ali Murtada. Hello and welcome to Radio 786, Ali. Hello, thank you, thank you to having me. Ali, you are a very, uh, you're every single day you're out in the field, you are on the southern Lebanese border with occupied Palestine, an area where the Lebanese resistance and the Israeli enemy forces are engaging, and you have refused to leave. Why have you decided to take that decision? Well, we have a, um, we have a a duty to do in the media and uh, we need to get out the truth in, in some ways especially when you see that the israeli propaganda uh, with the billions of dollars are paying to 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 make this propaganda as a reality you find yourself in front of a duty to to make uh, to make the people know what is happening truly on the field mm. but uh, we are sadly like um, being um, um, uh, uh, killed they kill us they they don't want us to talk we we are not like we are not in just a war and to cover this war it's a war on us also mm-hmm. my institution al mayadin until now we have six uh, uh, six colleagues for us are dead by israeli fire the last colleague is uh, a dears cameraman uh, and the engineer uh, that been dead and they they was uh, they was killed uh, as were in the hotel sleeping mm. and with others media that work and uh, and uh, 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 give story from there so when you when you ask me why i did it and why i still doing it it's it's because uh, it's necessary for someone to say that no for someone to say no no i'm here and i want to talk and i want to say the truth if if they want to talk about the freedom of, of speech um it's uh, it's not about just some kind of people must have this uh freedom of, uh, of speech and if if someone uh, we don't like their opinion uh, we don't give them uh, give them uh, freedom to talk and we kill them mm-hmm. if they talk as i talk to you i i left i left uh, the front line because of the threats of killing and because of the killing of my my colleague I'm going to return, of course. I'm I'm going to burn my friends, to uh, uh, bury my friends, and uh, get back to do what I do and to do what m- my duty uh, make me to do. But uh, sadly, maybe I'm here now. I won't be here after, and there is nobody care about that. They mm-hmm. are just killing us like uh, like we are fighters. And just because we are giving a story that not suit the Israeli propaganda. Mm. And, and just on that, of course, when we look at how the Israelis have been targeting journalists uh, in Gaza, Palestine as well, as, as now we're seeing the, the attacks on, on your colleagues in, in Lebanon. Um, and we talk about, as you mentioned, you know, the rights of journalists to be protected. Um, does this then not apply in terms of the Israeli entity? I mean, how do you see how they view journalists? They don't care. They don't care. They, they they want even their journalists, even the Israeli journalists. And I hope that we have some listeners of Israeli journalists. What the meaning of freedom of speech? If your army don't let you talk their their reality, what the meaning of freedom? What the meaning of the media? What the meaning of the truth? When uh, a Israeli reporter say and uh, and uh, in in uh, in clear way that the army make the, make him say uh, 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 something happened isn't truth and make him uh, say misguided information because it suit the uh, the military operation. So they don't respect the journalists in their own con- uh, country. Why there is no journalist that they go to 
uh, let's say Benjamina and Tel Aviv and and film and see what happened to the soldiers by the uh, Lebanese drone that hit them in Tel Aviv. Uh, also, uh, also the house of Benjamin Netanyahu. We see them uh, only uh, talking what the army led them to talk. And I, I, I stand. I in in a way, uh, I pity them because here in Lebanon, and they say that we are third uh, country, uh, and they they are more progress than us. We here, here we can talk anything. I can talk against Israel, and there is journalists that talk with Israel. In Lebanon, you have this freedom of speech, but in Israel, you can't find any journalist can um, make one word without the uh, Israeli uh, intelligence, take this word before, broadcast it on the air, and he put his approval, or it won't happen, and it won't uh, come out to the people. Mm -hmm. So, yes, the Israeli army... They they don't consider consider the media. They consider the media as a, a military tool, and they 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 don't consider that we are uh, we are working uh, to make the informations go to all people and to make the freedom of speech a fact and and not just a saying. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ali, I want to turn now to um, your social media videos and the birth of Hello, My Enemies. Um, what ignited uh, this and this phrase in particular? I, I wanted to talk to uh, uh, to talk to the Israeli. This is uh, the honest uh, goal of all what I did, because I know our people. And I know that our people know the reality on the ground. This is why we are winning the war. We are not losing the war. We are going to win the war and we are starting to winning the war, mm -hmm. to win the war. And I will talk about that. But I did hello my enemy to show them the reality because the Israelis think that we are maybe some um, uh, old fashioned guy that uh, fight with a knife. They, must, they need to know that we have a uh, uh, air force that we have a missile force, that we have a uh, 100,000 fighter, that we, ha that we have a resistance that if you killed all the leaders of this resistance, it will stay fighting and it will fight and it will win like it happened. Mm. So uh, I don't want them just to hear from the Israeli media because the Israeli media is like just giving them their, their own perspective of the uh, uh, of of the uh, of the action that is happening in the area, uh, and they did it, they don't give them the right information. So I wanted to talk to them, and it was easier for me in English. I suppose that they know English, and I think uh, by the threats I get from the Israeli uh, army spoken and from the Israeli media and from the many uh, bloggers in Israel uh, means that they are hearing me, mm -hmm. and I want them to see the truth. Let's talk about the truth. Netanyahu said that he want to get back the settlers in the north and because of this goal he entered and uh, invade lebanon until now he couldn't pass the first line of village and uh, even that he killed all the leaders of hezbollah mm. until now he lose 37 merkava tank he lose more than 75 soldiers between uh, dead and you have 60, uh, 680 injuries in the Israeli army. They are taking injury daily from 20 injury to 15 injury. They are taking, uh, uh, we are blowing the uh, their Merkava, one Merkava and a half by day. So if you talk about the ground operation, they couldn't, uh, achieve anything more than a thin line on the border, half the uh, the towns that are directly in the border in the first line of defense. Mm -hmm. And the settlers and the settlements in the north are now under fire heavier from before the ground operation. So you find that there is uh, some settlers that they still live in Kiryat Shmona, they left now. So the goal of the operation to get them back is so far now 
from the beginning of the ground war. Above that, you have some operation that the resistance did in in Haifa, in Tabaraya, in Safad, in Kermail. All these places, the, uh, the resistance didn't hit these places just after the ground invasion. So the Israeli army make those people to go from their home because he did the invasion to Lebanon. Above that, Netanyahu, who say that he want to uh, to restore and establish that set, uh, the settlement in the north settlement, he couldn't uh, sleep now in his own bedroom because Hezbollah has hit his own bedroom. This is the first uh, try to assassinate a uh, head of uh, um, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, like Benjamin Netanyahu, prime minister, in the uh, from the beginning of Israel, from the beginning of the occupation, there is no single uh, try from an Arab people to a uh, prime minister except this one, and they hit his bedroom, and he's now forbidden to go to sleep in his bedroom. So, if you want to to take a preview about how the war is going, the goal of the war is the most thing that you need as an Israeli and as a public to concentrate. Did you go back to your home? No. Did you achieve and make yourself closer to go home? Also no. You are now leaving your uh, houses in Kiryat Bialik, north of Haifa, in, uh, uh, in all the area that has been hit, and you are been warned yesterday from the uh, resistance that the range of fire will be bigger, especially in the north. So in this perspective, that is the right military perspective of seeing any war, Lebanon is winning and you are losing. You are you, you just kill. You killed Hassan Nasrallah. You killed the leadership of Hezbollah. You killed my colleague. You killed the press. You killed the innocent people in their houses but you didn't achieve anything in this war. And this is the truth. And this is why I do my Hello, My Enemies video. Ali, just as we round up with you, then I wonder if you have a message for your friends of of what is happening in Lebanon and occupied Palestine and the message from the resistance as well. What what is your message to to the world? I have two messages. The first message is from the resistance. This resistance is very strong. Mm. And if there is any doubt in your mind that this resistance will win this doubt the fact the fact make us be sure that we will win this war it's it's uh, there is no questioning about that so the uh, the resistance still on the ground even that it uh, been hit a big operation a big intelligence operation that killed the most of the leaders of the resistance we hold up for 33 days in the ground field operation and we are still fine and they couldn't achieve any uh, progress in the ground. So we are good. Our hands are now uh, going to Tel Aviv and Haifa. So our our position is good. Now we are sending missiles to them. So the resistance is fine. This is my message. The resistance has uh, taken has, has taken a big hit, but we are fine and we are still fighting and we are going to win. The second uh, message, as a journalist mm. and as a Middle Eastern uh, person and as a Lebanese that lived beside Israel whole, all his life, I swear every voice, every tweet, every uh, conversation that give us the true meaning of our fighting, that give us, that you support us in. When you say just we are with Lebanon, when you say just Israel is a killer, you are helping us. Because my friends, before social media, we was dying in silence. Nobody know about us. Now we are proud that we could talk to you as a people in Africa, in the West world, uh, that talk not Arabic language, that talk English, that talk French, to to show you that we are like you. We are just 
freedom fighter. We want to live in our country without being killed. I want to be able to broadcast in my channel and in Al Mayadeen without being afraid to be killed. It's not it's not right. It's not right. So every sound matter and everything that you, you talk and you write and you do uh, matter. And I thank you and we thank you all and we are seeing you. Keep talking and we will keep fighting. Indeed, on that uh, resistant note, Ali Murtada, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. He is the Pan News Network al Dean journalist. And the man behind the videos, hello, my enemies, ending off there with a message to his friends.